Today on our 1986 Chevrolet Silverado, we'll be taking a look at and installing the B&W Heavy Duty Class 5 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number BWH-DRH-25122. And here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed on the back of our vehicle. Now keep in mind if your vehicle has a back bumper or a drop bumper or any of those other styles, that it may look a little bit different than if it didn't have a bumper at all like this one doesn't. It's gonna have a fully welded construction with an easy bolt-on application with minor modifications to this one, but there's gonna be multiple different variations to this and mounting depending on your vehicle that you're gonna be placing it on. With this one, we did have to drill out in the middle hole just a little bit to waller out one of our holes a little bit. You're gonna have your extremely sturdy class five hitch here that's gonna be fully welded with those quarter inch plate steel chain tie downs on either side and two inch by two inch receiver tube with that 5 8 inch pinhole going straight through. Another great feature about this is it's gonna have that 1,600 pound tongue weight capacity and 16,000 pound gross vehicle trailer weight towing capacity. On the side over here, you're also gonna get your bracket to mount up your wiring harness if you already have one, whether that be your seven way, four pole, whatever kind of wiring you're gonna be running to this or running from it for that matter. You don't have to use a bracket, but it's supplied in case you want it. It is also gonna have that welded on bracket here on the frame if you choose to use that one instead. Now for your older vehicles, this is gonna be an essential part. You're gonna have that relocation for your spare tire rod and assembly. Now ours isn't all the way tightened down, but if we tighten that down the rest of the way, it's gonna hold up just fine and keep a nice sturdy grip on that spare tire underneath the back end of our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a few measurements to help you in selecting from hitch accessories, such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground, it's gonna be about 17 and a half inches. From the center of the pinhole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's gonna be about two and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and see how it's installed. And here we have our outer brackets in place on our receiver tube itself. And we're gonna go ahead and assemble everything and get it up onto the vehicle. We'll take our half inch by inch and a half bolts and slide them through the outside of the receiver tube. Getting the holes lined up and getting them in place. We'll slide our other two bolts through the main receiver tube. Once we line up the holes, and then we'll place our lock washer and hex nut on the back side. Once we have it started, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. We'll use a three quarter inch socket to do so. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop some of the hardware into the frame. We're gonna be placing the two, the outermost and innermost brackets through the top side, going through the bigger of the two square blocks. Now notice there is gonna be three of your spacer blocks. We're gonna set these ones off to the side and we're just gonna be using these ones. So going through, and then this one here, as well as the lock washer and nut will be coming up from the bottom side. Let's go ahead and drop these bigger ones into the frame with our two bolts. Now on earlier model vehicles like this one, it's gonna be easier to remove the spare tire from the vehicle before we go ahead and get started. Place the block and then the bolt. So it should look like so. Dropping it through that big slot at the back. Now the other one's gonna go just in front of the rear leaf support and drop in the half inch hole. Now this other one is actually gonna be going the reverse direction up through this hole here. Now we'll go ahead and put our hitch up into place over those outer bolts. Now you may need a second set of hands to help you hold it up into place. Once you have the hitch up into place, take your small locking block Place it over, and then your lock washer. Go ahead and thread on our hex nut. Just to where it relieves the pressure, and then we can go ahead and put our block, lock washer, and hex nut on the other side. Now on these back ones, we'll go ahead and place in our block, lock washer, and then our nut. We'll do the same thing on this side. 
and then we're ready to do our middle ones. Now for this particular application, we do have some holes on either side, but we're gonna have to make this one just a little bit bigger by drilling that half inch hole out here in the center and then passing our bolt up through. Now make sure before you go ahead and drill out your holes that you have your hitch aligned in the center of your vehicle. Now that we've got our hole drilled out using that hitch as a template, we we'll go ahead and place our locking block over, place our bolt up through, then we'll place our big block over the top, lock washer, and our hex nut. And we'll go ahead and repeat that same process on the other side. We'll go ahead and tighten our bolts to our frame first, and then we'll move over to that center section of the receiver tube. Next, we're gonna go ahead and torque our bolts on our frame to those side plates to manufacture specifications. Keep in mind, everything we do here on the passenger side is just gonna be repeated on the driver's side from this point forward. Now we'll go ahead and tighten down our center bracket and all of our bolts here and then torque them to manufacture specifications. Now that we're done with the ones connecting the side plates to the frame. Now that we've got everything torqued down and our hitch is in the place where we want it, we can go ahead and attach our trailer wiring bracket to the back plate that's provided with our kit. We'll just take a 10 millimeter socket, attach our two screws that are provided. We'll get them started. And then we'll tighten them down. Another nice thing about this kit is it's also going to provide you with that relocation bracket for your spare tire. We'll go ahead and place our bolt through our bracket and our spare tire bolt as well. Now it is a little bent out of shape. You can always bend that back if you so choose. We'll go ahead and place it in the hole and then place our bracket on the back side and tighten it down. And that will do it for the review and installation of the BMW Heavy Duty Custom Fit Class 5 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number BWH DRH25122 on our 1986 Chevrolet Silverado. 